What's going on guys, it's Adam from Spirited Systems and today we're gonna to talk about the MicroFight Chess Rig Mark V. So this is our latest iteration of the MicroFight Chess Rig and it's something that's been in development for a few years for us. Uh, and we're really excited about it. And we think that it's, uh, it's gonna change how a lot of you use our products and use your equipment in general. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is why. Why did we, why did we upgrade the Mark IV? The Mark IV is a, is a very successful product. We sell thousands of those things. People love them. Well, the truth is, is that we are always in pursuit of a better product. And we take the feedback that all of you send to us very seriously. Uh, we go out a lot, we meet with customers, we engage with them, we ask them questions, uh, we listen to the problems that they're having. And the Mark V is a answer to those questions and to, to those problems that people have been having. So we created this with all that feedback uh, based on what we saw. And what we saw was that one, the front pouch was being either underutilized or overutilized. Uh, and the point there is that it was defined. The front pouch, as you can see, this one doesn't have a front pocket anymore. It's just the rear, rear pocket. Uh, the front pouch was just not being used well or effectively. Either guys were stuffing it so full that the, a flap system really couldn't contain the contents or they were uh, not using it at all. They didn't even have a flap on it. They just wanted a, a placard that they could change the magazine insert out on. So we saw that a lot and we got a lot of feedback saying that, hey, we, we kind of want something without uh, a front pocket. So we started working on the Mark V uh, and materials became the next problem. Sourcing a laminate that was going to stand up well to the environment, to laser cutting, uh, wasn't gonna delaminate, wasn't gonna start to peel away. Uh, that was an exercise in material science for us. And we think that we found a really good candidate. And we know now uh, through testing that it's not going to fail, which was important to us because a lot of laminates on the market, they do fail. And uh, we've tested pretty much all of them now. So we know that this is the right answer. Uh, so the material selection on this was something that we spent a lot of time on, and it was also something that we wanted to get right. So you can see uh, the differences between the Mark IV being a mainly Cordura-based product, 500 denier nylon. This is a, a laminate, so it has a 1,000 denier and 500 denier laminated together. So it makes it very easy to laser cut and very robust. The design features uh, most notable on the Mark V is the Molly on the front. Everyone who posted a ton of pictures about it, talking about it at SHOT Show, things like that, people are very excited about the Molly. And when we solved that front pocket issue by removing it, uh, we wanted to give the user the best option for attaching things to the front, whether they wanted to attach their own uh, pouches to it, their own Molly pouches that they've stored up over the years, whether they want to use some of the things that we have coming out, it doesn't matter. We're just giving them the option to attach things to the front. So there's six columns of Molly on here. Uh, guys can put GP pouches on the front. They can put holsters for tasers, things like that. A lot of specialized equipment, but you can also have nothing on the front. And that enables you to wear this as a as a traditional placard, but still have the ability to change your magazine inserts for whatever mission or role that you're doing, uh, which is very important. And that's been consistent along all of our microfight lines since the Mark I all the way now to the Mark V, you can always take the inserts out and change, change your magazines. We also have uh, this Velcro strip across the front again, and that's just if you're running this slick or if you have a piece of equipment that you just kind of want to attach to the outside, identifiers, strobe lights, all of that stuff can just easily be adhered to the front. So another new feature of the Mark V is the Molly that is on the side. Uh, we put Molly and actually we drilled some holes on the side too, and that's just simply there so that you can utilize the space on the side of the chest rig. It's something that the Mark IV didn't have and we got a lot of feedback asking for it, so we added it in. So you can put single column Molly pouches on there, such as magazine pouches, something to carry a flashlight maybe, or a multi-tool. 
Uh, you can also lash things to the sides. I like to put tourniquets on the sides and I use rubber bands. So I'll just run those through the holes and just tighten them around the tourniquet. But really it's just there and it's adaptable to whatever you need. On the backside, we basically have the same configuration as a Mark IV. It's just Velcro on the back that enables you to attach it to a plate carrier or you know, attach our add-on products like expander wings or a sack pouch or really anything that you want to you know, kind of adhere to the back of this. Uh, we still have removable buckles on the side, so if you don't need them, you can take them off. Uh, you can see it's this laminate material now instead of webbing. So that's just a little design feature there. You're not gonna see webbing on the, on the sides of it anymore. And another thing, all these little holes, we've been getting a lot of questions about those. And the reason why they're there is very simple. It's just giving you the ability to use our uh, bungee retention kits on the top of the magazines. So the reason why they go all the way across is because we wanted to give you the ability to put them where you needed them. So right now, you know, if you have a triple 556 five, insert and you need three, you just adjust them to where you want them to be on the magazine. You just put three of them on there. But if you switch over to a sub gun insert and now you have four magazines, well, you can just move them left or right and add another one. And now you have, you know, the correct amount of bungees to retain your magazines. It also works really well for specialized equipment or sensitive items such as like an islid, something you need to tie down, something that you cannot lose. You can just clip right into these or tie down right into these loops wherever you need them. So it gives you a lot of tie down options on the front. So that's basically it for the chassis, but the chassis is only one part of the new Mark V system. We also have a pouch that is releasing at the same time. So this right here is the uh, CCS pouch or it's a sustainment pouch. And we developed this pouch for uh, specialized roles uh, such as reconnaissance or a breacher, EOD, medic, you know, things where a guy needs to have a bunch of extra tools. Uh, we wanted kind of a larger pouch on the front that they could divide some equipment into. So we have a front pouch on it that is it's zipper, dual zippers, like all of our products in case one of them breaks. You always have a, a second zipper. You can always get the pouch closed. If one of the zippers is jammed, you can always get the pouch open regardless of it being jammed. Uh, the inside of this pouch is not Velcro lined on the front, but it does have two tie down loops in it. So you can keep all that sensitive equipment uh, attached to you. On the back side, we have another pouch, which is also double zipped, and it has Velcro on the front and the back. And this will accept all of our inserts, uh, including our padded night vision insert. And we made this pouch specifically big enough to fit uh, range finders, if you have a Terrapin or something like that, it will fit in the front. Uh, smaller binoculars, night vision goggles, things like that. They will all fit in here and you can pad and protect them with that insert. It also has two tie down loops as well so that you can protect all that stuff and keep it you know, tied to the pouch itself. So that's the CCS pouch and that is part of the Mark V suite. We'll also have other pouches coming out over time. By the time you watch this video, there might be much more but right now this is, is the offering. So I appreciate you guys watching the video and we'll see you next time.